What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This week, I'm going to talk about collage. We'll talk about materials and tools and a few different approaches of how different artists in history have used collage to make their artwork, uh, as well as we'll take a look at a few artists working today uh, just to give you a variety of ways to think about how you might want to approach making some collage-based art. So collage not to be confused with college. Collage comes from the French. Uh, the word literally means gluing. Typically we think of collage as a piece of art that's made by combining or gluing various materials, whether it's photographs from newspaper or magazines, or even just different pieces of paper or fabric onto some form of backing. They can be cut out neatly, they can be whole pieces of paper, they can be ripped and torn. But this idea of using various materials and combining them and gluing them down. Collage comes from a very famous artist named Pablo Picasso. Uh, both Picasso and a colleague of his, around 1910, they begin making collage um, in their fine art. And up until that point, artists used collage as a technique to make sketches and kind of mock up ideas, but collage was not used as finished work of art that would be shown in a gallery. Picasso and Brock um, bring collage as a technique into their fine art and they create still lives with it. Um, and this becomes an important milestone in the art movement that Picasso is famous for called Cubism. Over the next 10 years, uh, an, an art movement develops called Dadaism, and the Dada artists take collage even further. Um, here these artists have abandoned all traditions of art. Uh, they were discouraged by the horrors of World War I. They don't want to follow suit with what others have done and they take this idea of collage and they abandon traditions of things like still lifes and begin forming them into strange scenes. They incorporate seemingly worthless or often overlooked items like ticket stubs or magazine and advertisement clippings or candy wrappers or even small three-dimensional debris and trinkets, whatever they could find and sticking them together to make their works of art. And soon after, another movement of art called surrealism takes Dada's idea of collage even further, developing the dreamlike fantasy scenes. Today, we see collage in a variety of ways, uh, whether it's surreal fantasy scenes or the use of text, like ransom letter messages, the way I put together the title of the video. Um, putting images together to form your own characters. We see collage integrate into things like street art. Um, and we'll look at one artist, uh, Judith Sapine, who takes collage images, develops them into characters, and then blows them up large scale as large scale photocopies and hand paints them before posting them up in, in streets or to make gallery work. Today we see collage throughout the art world and the design world, whether it's on movie posters or album cover designs, uh, in magazine advertisements, so on. Handmade collage is still a very popular technique uh, over a hundred years after uh, it took full. I hope that this presentation gave you a little idea about where collage came from, uh, as well as a little scope of how it's used today. Take the time to hop on Google 
or go on Instagram and look up some collage work and see what others do with this medium um, to give you some inspiration and ideas about what you might want to make for your own collage. Um, there's no shortage of tags, tags on Instagram that you can look up that have to do with collage where you will find some really creative and thoughtful artwork. Hope you enjoyed the video. In the next video I'll give you some ideas about materials to work with and tools and techniques uh, as well as we'll look at a couple different project ideas to help get you started. Peace.